Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got this awesome comment from Tash asking if I can review the Bay Area. And of course I can. Now, if you guys want me to review a specific city, a specific county, a specific uh, state, even a specific house, go ahead, comment down below. It doesn't even have to be in the United States. It could be anywhere in the world. I just did a video on Mexico, which was a lot of fun. Got to learn a lot about this cool, cool beach community. So again, uh, comment down below and I will jump in and make you that video. Now, before I jump in and check out the Bay Area, I want to uh, show you this article. If you guys just Google housing news, you're going to see article after article, just like this one, basically outlining, uh, the, you know, what's to come and how the housing market is, you know, dropping and it's crashing, whatever you want to call it. So basically, here's an article from Bloomberg and it says U.S. home prices now posting Biggest monthly drop since 2009. Cities facing steepest correction include San Francisco. Inventory level stayed relatively flat, a data provider says. So I do believe that the, the inventory levels are going to start to skyrocket. I, I, I feel like we're going into a slow holiday season. I think that once you know companies start reporting their earnings next um at, uh, you know, at next year, at the beginning of next year, I think, uh, you know, everything is going to hit the fan and it's going to be sort of scary times. I, I, you know, inflation is still rampant. Uh, it's still really high. Mortgage rates are really, really high. I think we're going to have a lot less buyers and, you know, any kind of, uh, and yeah, with inflation basically sucking all our money out of our paychecks, uh, you know, paying for more expensive gas, more expensive groceries, you know, we're not going to have enough money to go and, and buy, you know, toys and, and, and holiday gifts and stuff like that, which, believe it or not, are a huge part of the U.S. economy. So um, it's going to get pretty bad. And it, it sucks, but, you know, it's going to get better, you know, once the market crashes we rebuild and uh you know hopefully for those of you who are really you know making sure that you want to buy a house you might have a really good opportunity now remember it is always better to buy a house with a lower price with a higher interest rate than uh, a higher price home with a lower interest rate unfortunately right now we have still have high prices and high interest rates so right now is not the best time to buy i would say in my opinion if you wait three months six months even a year you might be in a better situation the problem is that the economy might be very slow and it might be hurting you in some ways or hurting your job so there's just a lot of things going on uh, but we got to just take it in day by day. Now, let's jump into the Bay Area. Now, I want to kind of, I've done videos on San Francisco. So this is basically the Bay Area, Bay Area, right? You got San Francisco, you got San Jose down here, Silicon Valley. This area right here, mega expensive, beyond expensive, okay? Uh, one of the most expensive neighborhoods probably in the world, Los Altos, uh, all this area, right? Uh, then you have Oakland. Then you have um, Berkeley, very famous university right here, San Francisco. Then when you cross the river, this is the Golden Gate right here on the 101. You get to Sausalito, very, very nice area, very, very expensive. Uh, you will start seeing more affordable housing, you know, definitely in this area, these outskirts right here. Uh, but again, if you work in the city, you know how long it's going to take you to go from Vallejo to... Uh, to downtown it's going to take you a long long time but you know a lot of people work in here there's a lot of businesses out here too so and you will find like more suburbs and more affordable housing but i sort of want to kick it here uh with in in oakland now i have a my aunt right here lives in castro valley one of my best friends uh lived out here in pleasanton so i have been here quite a bit uh it's very very nice it's very very expensive and sometimes you might be like in some houses and you'd be like wow i can't believe that's a million bucks for such a dump but that's the way it is so look let's just hover by here so you just get an idea uh you're not gonna find anything cheap okay uh here 200 and just just look two hundred and seventy thousand dollars gets you a piece of grass okay you get a little piece of grass for two hundred and seventy thousand dollars so you're not going to come to this area thinking that you're going to score a deal. There's no deals here. Um, if you want to, like, you're going to, that's the problem. Like, essentially, that's the problem. Look, 349000 uh, sorry, 398000 gets you uh, 560 square foot, one bedroom, one bath. 
And let me just tell you what the HOA is in this bad boy, $571 HOA fee. Okay, so $400,000 for a room, okay, for literally a room, and you're paying on top of $400,000 mortgage, you gotta drop an extra $561 on that HOA fee. And let me tell you something about HOA fees, they always go up. Now again, you're not, it's not, you're paying a lot of money to live, you know, in a very, very small, small place. Uh, but that is, that's how it is. If you don't have a million bucks, I mean, you do get a pool, I guess. But remember, it's cold. You're never going to use that pool, right? And like, here's another thing about a pool. Nobody's going to use the pool when everybody's like watching, you know, like. <laughs> and there's no like lawn chairs out here. I mean, put, put something out here, right? I get you got a pool, but man, make it look more res resorty. Again, but you see $400,000. It's a lot of money for a shoebox. Uh, so let's just assume that our budget is a million bucks because that's what it's going to have to be. So let's just scroll and I'll, I'll see if I find anything nice. Here's a one story. Uh, actually, this is not bad. Look at this. $500,000, 1,000 square foot, three bedroom, two bath. Actually, this is nice. This would be something that I would uh, definitely want to be, if I was in the market, I would want to grab this ASAP. Here's the problem. You got like um, a gate, you know, literally uh, an electronic gate of some sort, uh, which is kind of could spell disaster in a way. Uh, it could be, uh, it, could be a, it might not be a, not a safe neighborhood, right? You got to always think about that. Uh, because, you know, there are some parts of Oakland that are a little bit on the rough side. But this house, I really like the price. I know it's small, but being in the city, having your own little house is sort of insane. The rooms are tiny, three bedroom, two bath. Again, it's only a thousand square foot, but the kitchen looks nice. This, I love the fact that you get a little yard. This is a nice, nice deal right here, guys. Uh, you get a little she shed back there. You get a sick ass barbecue, like a smoker type um, built in. You definitely need to clean up the house a little bit. You got some neighbor stuff going on back here. Maybe, I don't know, figure that out. You got, I don't know what the hell happened here. This looks like an old garage. I don't know what's going on there. But again, you know, old, oh no, it's probably just a side of that. Older neighborhoods, but you know what? $500,000 seems like a steal. Now, this is more like it. $900,000, 1,300 square foot, two bedroom, two bath. You walk in here. Uh, again, it, this is a small house for $900,000. This is expensive. Got power lines back there. You, you're, you know, I do... I don't know what kind of neighborhood it is. The inside of the house looks spectacular. Spectacular. They did a great job. The back of the house looks awesome. Look, you get like, you could park your car. You could have an RV if you want. You could possibly even put a boat if you want. Love this backyard. Really, really nice. It's a little on the private side. And then you get a little separate unit back here. Like a little, oh, wow. Okay, so now I see why it's $900,000. The... It comes with a separate unit, uh, so pretty sick. So this is a 19 by 19 guest house. So yeah, okay, there you go, guys. Really, really nice. And you are in, uh, where's the house? But this is the neighborhood. You know, it's okay, it's nice. I mean, Oakland is nice. It gets cold here um, in the winter too, just throwing that out there. I've been to Oakland a bunch of times. I like it. Uh, it's got a cool little downtown. You're gonna eat spectacular food. Look at this, a million bucks. You get a house somewhat in the woods overlooking the Bay Area. This is tight, tight, tight. 2,100 square foot, three bedroom, two bath. So I love the size, hate the price tag, uh, but um, but yeah, once you walk in, you got a little sky dome. The house inside looks absolutely beautiful, man. Look at that, beautiful view. It is a million bucks, that really sucks. But you know what, like I said, everything is a million bucks. So this would be definitely one of my top picks. Definitely a lot of stairs, but you know, it's got a lot. Oh, look, you get a lot of land back here. This house is insane. You know, I got a friend that lives in the city in San Francisco. I'm going to send him this house because this could be right. You know, he might love it, although he might hate the commute. But, you know, he's an outdoorsy guy. He might love that house. So look at this. Another single story, $600,000. So you know what? There are some decent uh 
deals out here. Look, 1,300 square foot, two bedroom, one bath. So this is a small house, but it could be perfect for the right person. Um, I could I could live in this, in the city, for sure. I love it. I love this little house. I actually even like the color for some reason. Uh, I mean, it's black, but it looks like it's in a nice neighborhood too, uh, right by a park. So you see, uh, yeah, you don't need a million bucks, but you're gonna definitely uh, need at least 600,000 for sure. Um, but you know, it's one of those where um, you're just gonna wish you had more of a budget. But a million bucks and you could get something really nice. There's a lot of homes to choose from if you're in that budget. Uh, look at this, you get a little castle here for 995, 1500 square foot, two bedroom, two bath. Uh, the inside, beautiful fireplace, beautiful kitchen, ready to go. This house shows really nice, love the bathroom. I really like this house, tiny ass backyard. Got a little she shed back there. Love the garage, super clean. I like that they painted it. Looks perfect. Uh, this house is nice. The only problem is that it's a million bucks. That's the sort of the only problem. Okay, guys, so what do you guys think? Uh, you need some money. You need two million bucks gets you this badass house. Um, yeah, but if you had two million bucks, you got a lot to choose from. So overall, I think the Bay Area is very, very expensive. Uh, you know, homes are like, I'm just seeing most of the homes are about a thousand square foot, like between a thousand and fifteen hundred. Uh, there's some gates in a lot of the houses, which I don't like. I don't like bars in the windows. Kind of makes you think you're living in a dangerous neighborhood. And for all you know, it probably is a dangerous neighborhood. I mean, there are some bad parts in uh, Oakland. So just gotta sort of uh, be careful. This house is really nice. Look at that backyard. I really... I'm really digging blue houses. I gotta ask my wife what she thinks about having a blue house. I live in a, a unit um, in an association, so I can't just paint my house blue, but I would love to one day live in a blue house. Don't love the yellow door, but a uh, blue house with a red door could be a really nice combination. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video. There's some really pretty houses. One of the things that I'm noticing is that uh, because the houses are expensive, you know, some and they are small, people that buy them, they tend to make, uh, build them, you know, make them really nice over the years. So even though it says, you know, a thousand square foot, uh, these people really maximize space and like they really make like really like they make the insides look really nice. Uh, because again, you know, uh, if you're gonna spend this kind of money, you probably have enough money to, you know, upgrade it in inside right even and just work with the space you have so that's sort of what i'm seeing you there's definitely a lot of beautiful houses uh you want to go out here drive around get lost and find what neighborhood you love but make sure you're packing at least a million bucks that was actually a really nice house that i just saw all right guys i'm gonna uh, before i finish this video i want to show you the redfin weekly housing market data you could see Prices are now lower than they were in 2021. So we've crossed that mark, love seeing that. You could see we might even be crossing that 2020 level very, very soon. Again, you still need a little bit of cash. The median house price right now is still um, $900,000. Just think about it. A few months ago, it was 1.1 million. Now it's down to 900,000. So you could see where is it gonna be in the next few months. Uh, it might be closer to 800000 So if you just wait, you might be able to save $100,000. Now, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video. If you guys want me to make a video on a specific city, specific county, specific state, even a specific house, doesn't even have to be in the United States. It could be anywhere in the world. Please go ahead, comment down below, and I will jump in and make you that video. Now, if you're new to my channel and you like my videos, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video.